It took about three months to prepare, and I was totally freaked out. Um, uh, but I was so overprepared by the time that actually came that I was completely calm. And it was like I was channeling all this stuff, you know. And there were all these nine, they were all asking questions all the time, except for Thomas, who doesn't say anything. Uh, and I was like, kind of like Aikido with nine opponents, you know. But I was, I mean, I, it was one of my better days. You know, I mean, I, and I did a really good job, it just there, there was no hope. So it was interesting, it was very, the experience itself was quite enjoyable, I mean, it's the, the thing that I do, and it's at the highest level and all. And there's, you know, they're smart, you know, these people, and so it was a very intense experience. And, uh, you know, I mean, I think one deludes oneself that, uh, even though it's a stone-cold loser, that, well, maybe we'll win, you know, and, uh, but it was not to be. very well written. Uh, it was uh, respectful in tone. Uh, and what did it say? Uh, it said basically that this is a, that the right at stake for the, for the uh, administrators of the parade was their right to express themselves as they saw fit. What it didn't do, which is good, is it didn't say that uh, laws forbidding discrimination on the basis of uh, sexual orientation or unconstitutional or anything like that. And that, uh, I think, as I recall, it upheld the test that if the state, uh, the, the, the state has a, a legitimate and powerful interest in banning discrimination, including discrimination based on sexual orientation. So in that sense, it didn't do, it didn't do, really do any harm, any particular harm, I don't think, beyond the case. You know, uh, and I think in a larger sense it did some good in the sense that we were taken seriously, and it was the pre you know because all this is human dynamics too. And the next year, the year after that, the, they decided that Colorado case, which was a sort of big step forward, uh, and then a few years later that um, Texas sodomy case. Uh, so, uh, sort of you know, if you look at all this as sort of theater, you know, it wasn't a bad. Uh, you know, was it a pancake or whatever? <laughs>